Hey guys, 209's Green Thumb, today with some zucchini. I planted this plant in the beginning of May, started from seed actually. Uh, har uh, you're able to do most of your gardening whenever your ground is tillable, no frost, nice weather, uh, depending on your climate zone. I still refer to this book a lot. It'll tell you where you live, what to plant, when to plant it, what's gonna do the best. Um, you know, a per plant that I go over with you, I'll point out a few tips and tricks that this book suggests. Like I said, you know, I'm not gonna endorse something that someone else, you may find something better. So do your own research. Um, this is a Black Beauty variety. Enormous, it took over, it's a lot more than I expected. So always take that into mind. Whenever you're planning something, you know, this garden is my first uh, experience with something like this, so this is a trial phase for me. Zucchinis do well, pumpkins do well, tomatoes do well, uh, strawberries, stuff like that. Um, as time goes on, I'll be able to figure out what else is doing well. I got more peppers going. Some of these bare rows are lettuce, carrots, spinach, uh, radishes, um, things I'm really trying to figure out what do the best back here. So anyways, as far as a zucchini goes, very much like a pumpkin, it gets very large. Uh, leave adequate space for something like this in, a, in another area of your garden where it's not going to block out uh, some things. Uh, this is a cucumber plant. You know, he could do a lot better if this, you know, stuff wasn't in his way. But, you know, next time, huh? Anyways, the deal with these zucchini. You start them off, obviously it takes about a month for them to get this size with adequate sun, eight plus hours a day. Um, they respond really well to my method of uh, incorporating manure, then using ammonium sulfate uh, throughout its growth period, and then as it starts to bloom, you can see how it starts to produce these gorgeous flowers which just blow up. I mean, it's really a beautiful plant. Um, but unlike pumpkins or watermelons or anything else, these you can tell that where these blooms come from, this is where your, uh, your zucchini comes out of. And uh, basically the only thing they really tell you is the more you pick and harvest your zucchini plant, the more fruits you'll get, the more vegetables you'll, you'll be able to get all harvest long. So stay on top of that. Always you see one, come out and take it because two more will take its place, you know. Um, in that, because of these couple plants that are in the way, I'm just gonna take some leaves off for you guys. I'm gonna leave about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch from where I cut this off the stem. Uh, I'll take care of that later. I got another one right here. I'm gonna take, it does say to, uh, to use a very sharp, clean knife and not to mar the stem up, which I just did on this one. So the first one I've ever cut and I learned my lesson. So the tip is to take it off about a half inch to an inch above the fruit itself. And there you go. I just harvested my first zucchini. Crazy. So I got a lot more to go, a lot more to harvest. Um, this is basically just showing you what to do. Um, I have uh, other fruits and vegetables I'll be going over with you guys, but this is just an update on my zucchini. So uh, hey, put something in the ground and uh, get started because it's never too late and you'll be excited every day. So uh, 209's green thumb right here. Hit me up, subscribe if you can, leave me a message if I haven't covered something. And until next time, man, have a good one.